I now have a closed volume. I have a flow study. I need um, a condition. Let's just do a couple conditions real quick. Uh, we'll create a boundary condition. And I'm just going to create a pressure opening where all these lids are. I do not recommend using environment pressure. Why don't I in, in recommend it? Because it does some weird things. It's, it's static pressure in one direction, total pressure in the other. Meaning coming and going, you're going to get different pressure values and it's not going to match up to what you expect. So if there's not significant pressures caused by moving volume, you know, moving air, I always use static pressure. Okay? You'll almost never go wrong in that scenario. And the only thing environment pressure is giving you is sort of the additional pressure of displacing air that's not modeled in your study. And if it's that important that you know how the displaced air affects your, your, your pressure, you probably should include that in your domain, which then allows you to go back to static pressure. All right, so there's my static pressure openings. And I just grabbed all the bodies. That's a really easy way to avoid any kind of a problem where it says, oh, that face doesn't lie on the boundary. Yeah, I didn't click the face, I clicked the boundary, or the body. So lots of little tips in here. I know I'm going super, super fast, but that's why we're going to get this up on YouTube so you can rewatch it at a later date. All right, let's create a mesh. And when...